Welcome to the new episode. So the plot sickens even more. We just saw a guy who happens to have Deacon's ring that he gave to Sarah. We gotta figure out why this guy even has the ring. Hopefully she's not dead or something. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what can I get you? Hey, uh, I should look at this. Go, go, go! You gonna move your ass! You think you're gonna have another Hell no, you're not! Come on, you gotta work! Good day. You are new here? I am Lumi Ikeda. Deacon, Deacon St. John. You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. We welcome anyone who will work to make the area safe. Good. Yes. Nice job. Very good. Oh my goodness. You see how much that razor ear is worth? Holy moly. Good work. Yes. Very good. Right. So. I see. Man, they were telling me to turn in all my bounties back in Lost Lake. Goodbye. Should have held on to it. I had like, I had like 700 something ears from uh, going around the map and killing hordes. But, How's it uh, going? New around here? I would have known. I would have kept Ava Bergstrom. Them. Friends call me Bergy. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John. You do your job, and we'll get along just fine. How's that? Yes, ma'am. Wait, actually, I want to see well, What do you mean? Oh, they don't deal weapons? Maybe not yet. No, they, no I don't think they deal weapons. Nope. Okay. That's hey, hey, Sorry, uh, I ha haven't seen you around before. Lucas Monroe. Yeah, wow. uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. That's a huge upgrade. Hold, okay. Hmm. Wait, can I? I can use it. Oh. oh no, I have to buy that. Okay. That apparently it says I don't need trust for this. Oh wow. It's a lot of fuel right there. Well, okay. When you're ready. <laughs> I might do this. I mean, it looks a little out of out of place. <laughs> uh, at least I don't have to wait for the trust, you know. God, that looks really out of place. Uh, I don't have enough for any of this. I I do have this, but uh, well, I'll save my money for now. Still new to the camp, I don't know exactly what I should be buying and what I shouldn't. I did hold on to my meats because I had a feeling that I would uh, be using them in a new camp. Now let's do that. Some bear meat, huh? Some deer meat, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, not a wolf me, let's see what this does. A decent amount of trust. Some credits, I guess. Yeah, I guess in this game, everybody uses a chopper. I'm fine with it, I guess. Alright, well, after the cutscene, we saw a guy, and Deacon was like, hmm, that guy doesn't look like he's in the militia. Go, go, go. So, we're gonna check out who this guy is. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! 
Deacon St. John. Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see okay. anyone that look like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. No, I'm not here. Cute drawings. Oh, God, I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have... Check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Ah, damn it. She's not here either. Feeling any better? Moving! Sergeant! It's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Not could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. You're getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, 
Vasquez. Where has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more? <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. <laughs> oh man, I'm loving this already. Just when you think the story's done, it just gets even deeper. You, uh, <clears throat> you said you stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Could make something out of this. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. Rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. Man, Deacon's good at what he does. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Find something? Yeah, shell casing, recently fired. Stop to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Uh, hold up, hold up. Is it infected? Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? Uh, depends. On what? On how hungry it is. I see him. How did that not hit you? <laughs> like how this Kurt That's the last will get, or whatever the hell he is, yeah. not even helping. Yeah, look, Corey. Take a look at this thing. Well, I guess I can't skin this one. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers and timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Another dead wolf. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We could always use more It's a backpack. Ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. I 
That sounds like a horde. Wait, get down. A swarm. Near a grave site. I don't think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through. Oh. Here. Let's go around. You know, this one looks a lot bigger than the ones I dealt with. Say, John, this one. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, we're getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, he kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, uh, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, it's just in this part of the state alone. We've got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. <laughs> hey, there's a road ahead. Hold on oh. a second. Wait, we're not out here to fight freaks. God damn it, St. John! How did they get alerted? What did I do? <laughs> Near our grave site. I think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Right there with you. I gotta say, we are getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. Yeah, I've done it before. This is gonna keep moving. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to be in the shit. Killing freaks. It kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance like between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring yeah, out yeah, I got more of them. Stuff. I think they can smell the corpse for about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead. Or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, and clouds. Like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. See your man? Yeah. I 
that's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On, what do you think? What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> about that. Yeah, and I always make sure to loot everybody. I, I don't know, it's just <clears throat> sort of a habit of mine. In games like these, I just gotta loot everything. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just bear with me. Just get one of these. Frag grenade, eh? alright. Let's pull it up. Second, get in the phone call. Okay, wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him. He won't know what hit him. Oh my God! Oh, easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. <laughs> what a way to go out. Holy crap. What was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. 
way done. Captain Corey, come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been uh, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Korea. out. Come on. <laughs> We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You pass. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... <laughs> right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. <laughs> 